Uh, yeah, so switching gears a little bit, we're going to talk about uh, human flourishing. If you stick around and continue to attend these forums or continue on this journey with us over the next couple of months, you're going to hear that phrase a lot, human flourishing. Over the past two years, Barna and Glue um, has been researching this, and we are very excited to, um, to continue this conversation with you all. So the five dimensions of human flourishing are spiritual growth and development, financial well-being, mental and emotional health, vocation, and relationships. Like I said, we're going to dive into those five things a lot more throughout the course of these forums, right? Um, but the reason why we're bringing this conversation forward is because in our research in Columbus, but also across the nation at large, we're seeing a lot of openness and a lot of interest that people are expressing for whole life discipleship. Discipleship from the church or programs or preaching from the church that encompass all of these things, all five of these dimensions, right? So we see on the left side of this chart here, um, the, the interest expressed by both churched and unchurched adults in Columbus to, to receive preaching or to take part in programs from the local church on, um, on these dimensions, right, or in these ways. And we see a lot of openness there, especially for mental and emotional well-being. I do want to draw our attention there. Like David said, um, we, we just really need to prepare ourselves for this conversation and take part in this mental and emotional well-being conversation. Um, and we also see on the right side that these dimensions are a great tactic for reaching both millennials and Gen X. Um, so we see that the majority of millennials there do say that they'd be interested um, in, in being a part of a church maybe if they addressed these things. So perhaps in response to this gap that we're seeing in Columbus with engaging the next generation, perhaps a response is investing in these dimensions of human flourishing or activating our churches in these ways. Um, just something for us to consider, to really consider as we think about leading adults out of this pandemic and into the future. And I think it's another great indication that young people are interested in Christianity that's uh, both true and good. And mm -hmm. uh, interesting how boom, boomer, uh, boomers in Columbus are less likely to say, yeah, we want the church to address all of this different things. We're, we're mostly just interested in spirituality and, you know, kind of our faith development. But younger generations are seeing all that more interconnected, a holistic gospel 